Hi everyone, my name is Kenny, Lead Analyst at The Fifth Person. At The Fifth Person, we want to help you find great businesses that you can invest in so you can grow your wealth safely and consistently over time. Today, I'm going to talk about compound interest. I'm sure you have heard of that term before. So I'm going to explain what does it mean and how you can use that to build your wealth. So if you're ready, let's go. To explain to you what compound interest is all about, I'm going to use a hen and an egg to take you through the example. So before I delve into the concept of compound interest, you have to understand what simple interest is all about. So with simple interest, imagine this, right? You go to the market and you invest in a hen, right? And the hen produces an egg every single year. So the egg represents the interest that you make on your investment, which is the hen. So simple interest is just that it's simple and it's linear, right? Every single year, uh, it produces an egg. So by the third year, you have a total number of three eggs, right? But compound interest is a little bit different. The system is a little bit different. On the first year, it may look the same, right? You, you went to uh, buy a hen and the hen produces an egg for you. But instead of consuming it, you decided to delay gratification, right? You leave the egg there to hatch and go into another hen. So by the end of, or by the beginning of the second year, you get a total number of two hens and two hens produces you two eggs, right? Same thing here. You have a family of four, but you decide to keep it in delay gratification. So in the beginning of the third year, you have a total number of four hands and the four hands produce you four eggs in total. So you can see compound interest is slightly different from simple interest, right? You let your interest uh, grow, put it in and grow and multiply. So but at the end of the third year, you will have more than what you get uh, compared to simple interest. So if you were to tabulate that, you can see that simple interest, uh, you, you have a total number of three eggs by the end of the third year and compound interest more than double, right? Seven eggs. So you can see that it's very powerful when you are able to keep uh, putting in your interest and compound it year after year. So to put it in monetary terms, let's talk about it in terms of investments, right? When it comes to hand, uh, you can think of it as a $100 investment in a dividend stock that generates you a 10% interest every single year. So with that simple interest, almost like the hand example, every year it makes a linear interest of uh, $10 every year, right? Second year, $10, third year, $10. By the end of the third year, you have a total of $30 in interest. But when it comes to compound interest, like I mentioned, in the first year, it may look the same. But the trick is this, right? Putting your interest back into uh, your capital, with your capital, right? You make $10 instead of spending it, you put it back in. So in the second year, you start with $110, right? $100 of your initial capital in the first year plus the interest of $10. And you make 10% on that capital. So that will give you $11 in the second year and on the third year, you start with a higher base, right? You reinvest at $11 back, right? And you start with $121 and a 10% yield will give you uh, $12. So the idea here is this, right? When it, Why is it called compound interest? It's because instead of taking out your interest, you leave it in and you make interest, right? Your 10% interest on the interest that you earn. So you're making interest on interest. And then if you're doing this over long periods of time, you're actually compounding the interest, growing the interest on interest, right? Every time. And over uh, at the end of the third year, you get more than what you have compared to the simple interest. And in this case, that's $3. This might not seem like much in the short run, right? Uh, just a couple of years. But if you were to stretch that out over 20 years, you can see that simple interest yields $209, right? And uh, when it comes to compound interest, it yields a double, $612, right? With the same amount of starting capital, but double the results, right? So that's how powerful uh, compound interest is, right? But so when it comes to compound interest, you need to keep three things in mind, right? How to compound your money, right? What levers you can pull when it comes to growing 
your wealth so first is simply capital right how much capital you have to start so the more capital you have the more returns you have right you're starting with the bigger bucket of cash so when it, uh, then secondly is uh, interest right how much interest are you making on your capital the higher the interest you make on your capital the more you make and last but not least is time which is one of the most essential components when it comes to compounding your money you can see that in the short run like i mentioned before the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest is not that much in that case it's three dollars right but over long periods of time you can see that compound interest is able to grow your wealth exponentially uh, compared to simple interest so you can see the chart slowly arch upwards so what has this got to do with investing you can see that compound interest is very powerful that can help us to grow small sum of money which we have when we are starting out in our career uh, you know uh, start to build our saving especially uh, let's say couple years down the road after you graduate you manage to save ten thousand dollars right and let's say you do not know anything about investment you invest in uh, s p 500 etfs with which historically for the past 50 60 years is able to produce a 10 percent compounded annual growth rate you can see that just simply with ten thousand dollars at the end of 30 years when you retire that will turn into a sum of hundred and seventy four thousand dollars which is uh, many many times more without you having to work right all you got to do is invest in the ETFs but however let's say you understand how businesses work you know how to uh, pick quality businesses right and invest them over long run so you're able to compound them at a higher rate right 15 percent 20 percent and your let's say 20 percent right let's say you, you start to get good at investing you learn how to pick these companies you can see that over 30 years you can grow a small sum of ten thousand dollars without any additional investments in between and you are able to grow that in 30 years to 2.3 million dollars right think of that imagine you decide to uh, invest uh, ten thousand dollars every single year into the stock market and that will create a huge uh, retirement uh, portfolio for you that you can use uh, to what when you retire right if you were to invest in quality businesses like Amazon you can see that uh, the share price over many years is able to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 17% which is great and when it comes to MasterCard as we all know right it's a financial network right every time you swipe a card every time a transaction goes through using the credit card with the MasterCard logo on it they make a cut right when it comes to that you can see they are able to grow uh, their stock uh, at a compounded annual growth rate of 24% which is very impressive right over 20 years right so like Warren Buffett said right when it comes to investing you really know need to know what you're investing in right and and once you know spot a good uh, investment and put your money you need to stay in for a long run why because time is the friend of the wonderful business by now you should have a good understanding of what compound interest is all about. For compound interest to work, you need both time and money. So the earlier you put your money to work, the longer you allow your money to compound. Now we've put together a free training video to show you how you can use compound interest to help you grow your wealth via the stock market. We've included the link down in the description box below. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Once again, thanks for watching. See you again soon.